Hi, I'm Patty, and this is my story. Before Jesus, I grew up in church. I had to attend three times a week, no matter what. I learned all the Bible stories. In fact, it was the only category on Jeopardy that I could answer every question to. God was presented as an angry, cold being who was just waiting for me to break his rules so he could discipline me. It was truly cold and miserable. So from 18 to 26 years old, I lived for myself. I felt I was finally free. I lived how I wanted to live. I did what I wanted to do. I was self-centered. I was arrogant. I was selfish, even self-righteous. But yet again, I felt I was finally free. Then Jesus. During my free years, I married and became pregnant. For myself, I had no urge, longing, or desire to go back to church. However, while I was pregnant, I had a nagging feeling start. While I had no desire for God, for some illogical reason, I just had to make sure that my son knew God. So I started looking for a church with a Sunday school. I visited a local church in Glen Burnie. This gentleman was talking about God in a way that I had never heard before. He said that God loved me. He loved me so much that he wanted to be a part of my life. This God I heard about that day was nothing like the God that I had learned about for 18 years. This God liked me. He wanted to call me his friend. He wanted to offer me forgiveness. He wasn't angry at me, even though he knew everything that I had been doing. He loved me, and he actually wanted me to live with him in his kingdom forever. I thought, why in the world would he want a relationship with me after the way that I've treated him? Yet week after week, I heard how he wanted me, that he would never give up on me, that he was re relentlessly pursuing me, and that he even per sacrificed his own son in a terrible way just to give me a way to be with him. I was 28 years old when I was baptized into his family. After Jesus, there was no sky breaking open, trumpet sounds, or angels appearing after I made the decision. Life has dealt so many painful, agonizing events. I've been in valleys so low that I thought the pain would never end. I've learned that I have had to rely on the facts of God rather than my feelings sometimes. Feelings come and go. His facts and truth never change. This journey is a marathon, not a sprint. So at times I have yelled and raged at him. I have pouted it and ignored him. I have been face down on my hands and knees, begging him to help me after yelling and raging at him. I have discovered that he is a big God. He can take it and he understands. He doesn't get angry and cut me off. His love is not conditional. His love for me doesn't change depending on how I measure up to some standard. I've also discovered that he is relentless. He never gives up on me no matter what. Sometimes I picture him in heaven smiling and shaking his head, saying, Patty, Patty, Patty. He waits for my emotional storm to calm down, and he shows up with his arms wide open to scoop me up, to comfort me, to encourage me, and to support me. So I feel like we're in a war, but I have read Revelation, and God wins. So don't give up. Keep striving to get to know him deeper. Learn about him. Taste him. Experience him. You will never be the same. Thanks for listening.